We recently made this video about we, why we decided to invest in Aptera, and we got a really insightful comment from Dean McManus, and we didn't mention that previously, but we're going to talk about it now. Right. He was bringing out the, the fact that you can trickle charge your Aptera and get 11 to 15 miles of range per hour of charging just into your home plug. Now, for just a point of comparison, the 2022 Nissan Leaf, they claim will get about 168 miles on a charge with a 40 kilowatt battery. Well, right. how many miles does the Aptera get on a 40 kilowatt battery? What is it, like 400 or something? Yeah, I was thinking like 400 miles. So you can wow. see how the efficiency, the way this thing cuts through the wind and less points of contact on the road, less friction, mm -hmm. less weight, allows you to use a smaller battery and get way more miles. Nice. That's cool. That is cool. All right. So we drive a Nissan Leaf now, and we have a home yep. charger installed, level two mm -hmm. charger. So we plug it in overnight, more than fine. But before we have that, Sarah, <laughs> we had a cord hanging out the kitchen window mm -hmm. with this little beauty. Yep. Which came with our Nissan Leaf. Most electric cars come with a charger with a regular old-fashioned house plug it outlet in, plug. Into any outlet. And then you plug this guy into your car, and boom, you're ready to go in what? A mere 28 or so hours <laughs> right. for yeah. a full charge. So now we have a, yeah, so, so we have a home charger now, but before that, we would go outside, we would plug this thing into the wall, plug it in the car, and then once we realized it was charging, we would sleep for two days. <laughs> then we could drive our car again. That didn't work for our life. We would plug it in overnight, and then when we, if we had to go further than the 40 or so miles we were able to charge while we were sleeping in one night, then we would have to go to a fast charger, right? DC fast charger, charge it up, go about the rest of our day, come home, plug it in overnight, and make the phone calls to get our level home 2 charger, charger installed. Yeah. <laughs> but with the Aptera, you really probably won't need a home charger because if you plug it into just a regular 110 outlet, because it's so efficient, it's going to get you in 10 hours, you know, overnight, like between 100 and 150 miles. That'd be That's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. But what if you don't even want to plug it in? What if you just, I don't even want to plug it in? Then get the solar array so the sun can charge it. Get the full solar package. Let this array up to 40 miles a day just with the sun. So here's the question for you. Have you ordered your Aptera yet? If not, why not? Please let us know in the comments. Now, if you're interested in ordering it, there is a link in the comments, not the comments, the uh, description, mm -hmm. where you can click that link and you'll save $30. We had to pay $100 to pre-order. You yep. can do it for $70. Yep. Yes. And then Aptera will give us a whole bunch of money and make us rich. Well, off of your maybe not. Uh, using our link. Yeah, super <laughs> rich. So anyway, that's a point. Now, also, I want you to think about this. When will I get my Aptera? If I order it today, Sarah, when will I get my Aptera? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But here's what the company's <laughs> planning. They're planning to ramp up to like 20,000 cars a year. But the idea that they use the word ramp up tells me it's not going to start there. It's going to start right. here. And go like that. Now, the very yeah, they're not going to put out 20,000 cars on day one. No. It's not going that no. way. <laughs> so the idea is to have the very first few cars roll off the, I don't think it's off the line anymore. I think it's like out of the factory, mm. assembled there in San Diego. Uh, at the end of this year is the hope. So then there's like 21,000 or more. They won't give you the exact number. It's very, shh, very hush-hush. If all of those people fulfill, that's a full year if they were to ramp up to the 20,000, which means basically all of 2023 you would wait. Probably some people will not fulfill their pre-order, as Sarah mentioned. They may have pre-ordered five cars, and whichever one hits production, they're ready to rock and roll. They buy it, they're gone off the list. Other people have some kind of financial reversal. Anything can happen. So let's just, whatever number I use now, I'm going to get feedback telling how far off I am. <laughs> so please, let me know how far off I am. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Let's say half of the pre-orders that are pre-ordered now fall off. So now they have 10,000 vehicles ahead of you. So right now you should be feeling a little pit right about here. It's called FOMO, <laughs> fear of missing out. You don't want to feel that way. You want to know that I may possibly get my Aptera in 2023. If you want the FOMO to go away, you want the pit in your stomach to release, go pre-order your Aptera. That's it. Anything else? If you want. If you want. Yeah, of course, if you don't want, Please you've don't. already stopped watching this. <laughs> if you want more news about Aptera or other electric cars, we talk about a bunch of them, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, then don't.
but do. But go ahead and subscribe anyway. You like hey, us. I got something for you too. Boom. Oh, I have one. Oh, it's two thumbs up for you. What we want in exchange is just one. Just, just one. give us one. one. Two for one deal. You so can't fair. be a two for one deal. I think that's fair. It's fair. Super fair. Yeah. Also, you might not know this, but Sarah is 100% fueled on coffee. It's true. She is a coffee field creator and she's running low. So <laughs> in, the, in the description, there's a link you can hit and buy Sarah a cup of coffee. She may even say thank you. She's nice like that. Thank you in advance for anyone who feels moved to fuel me further with coffee. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, of course right. not. <laughs> All right, more videos are out there right here between our head. There's a video that talks about the width of the Aptera. For some reason, that's really popular. Well, it's 88 inches. It's like, what does Seven that really mean? Something, yeah. yeah Do you so... want to know what that kind of looks like? Mm -hmm. Sort of a... Anyway, there it is. Yeah. Chan Sarah, have a great day.